Hey loves, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do a DIY wearable gold hollow cream highlighter. So to do this, I'm going to be using this Aquaphor. It's, I'm not sure if it's like a Neosporin, but it's like for dry skin. But I've seen a lot of people using coconut oil and my issue with that was that it stays greasy and it doesn't really dry down. This stuff, however, once you let it set, it does sink into the skin and it will dry down. So that's why I chose to use this instead. Plus, it's like a healing ointment. So it should be okay for the skin. You shouldn't break out from it. So I'm going to go in with that eyeshadow you've seen first. And now this Physi Physician's Formula highlighter there was two colors in that so as you can see one's a little bit lighter than the other I'm going to go in with this wet n wild highlighter and just get a little bit of it since I'm not making too much I didn't need so much highlighters I'm going to use some of this physician formula highlighter I want it to look gold obviously to go with the gold hollow glitter I'm going to be putting in so to lighten it a little I'm going to be using these three shades and a little more of the lighter nude shade as well as some gold glitter this is like glitter dust glitter pigment it's really really fine and I'm going to be using this eyeshadow and it's a white pearly one Again, just to make it not so dark, I want it to be like a champagne gold color. And for the star of the show, I'm going to be using this holographic glitter in the size .002. So I had just melted it down. I tried to melt it in that cup, but it was taking too long to melt, so I put it all into the spoon, and I held it over a candle, and I let it melt, and I just stirred it all up. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and test it to make sure. And yeah, looks good. I like it. So I'm just going to pop that into the freezer for about five minutes. Now I'm going to be using this eyeshadow brush because this is how I would apply that type of cream highlighter just with a brush. And as you can see, it looks really nice. It's not too much but it's just right. Applying it with the finger did give a little more payoff and here it is again swatched. I did use my finger to do this swatch. I just wanted to do a close up. Now this is with the flash and you can see it's sparkling and I felt like it wasn't showing you the true beauty of it so I did go outside to film a little clip of it in the sunlight but you can definitely see the hollow I didn't add too much hollow because I just wanted it to be spaced out and here is the clip of it outside as you can see it's gorgeous that highlight is popping I love it and you can definitely see all the hollow specks in it so it came out exactly how I wanted it I will have some pictures but the pictures do not do it justice. That's why I wanted to get the clip outside. And that's just what it looks like to me. It looks like my champagne pop. It just has holographic in it. And I really love how it came out. I cannot wait to use it when I do my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.